somebody's missing an action today. All right, hello YouTube. Ah, what a day of events, yeah. Have you noticed the light's kind of awkward today? Well, got some light issues over there. Since those recent storms kind of mess up some LED lights around here, so we're not the only ones got affected. There was a couple places got there uh, knocked out too. So uh, it's not just here, it's other places too. Okay, yeah, today was a crazy day today. Talking about our day's events today. Uh, from what happened, to what happened, to what happened. Well, here's what happened. Okay, uh, the bus, riding the bus is it's no big deal. Uh, if Andrew don't say the name of the person, because I don't want to name no names anyway, but always kept on asking us, are you going to the casino? The answer is no. Uh, then, uh, then this person asked us, well, let's go to Walmart. And I said, no, not yet. And there's Angie right there. What did you say, not yet what? Well, I'll let you know between clips, okay? Okay, there she is. How about you, too? Okay, even this uh, person, uh, whoever may be, also asked her what, when, whenever she gets on the bus, uh, where this person wants to know where she's going. Casino, Walmart. And she always says, I don't know where I'm going. You don't know where you're going? Just getting there, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, the same thing happened to us in Chicago. One of the uh, Blue Line trains, someone asked us if we were going because they think that, that they're, we're tourists. And I said, no, we live around here. But really, we were tourists. We just didn't say it. But sometimes you know how this, that's, because we know our way around Chicago, so uh, so we didn't act like tourists. We just blended in very well, and boy, I think we did because he never bothered us since. That was a heap in Chicago, and that. So, uh, but this person around here needs. <laughs> we always want to know if you want to know what's going on. I, I tell this person if you want to know what's going on with our lives, watch our channel. I'm trying to get her this person, well, whoever it is, her, he, she, whatever, uh, try and get this person to subscribe to the channel, so, uh... Or this person needs to learn stuff from riding the bus. Yeah, yeah, if you want to know more information, ride the bus, you ain't gonna get it from us, yeah, just ride the, ride a different bus, then you know, but you don't need to ride the bus, you just watch our channel, then you know about us. Okay, there she is. How there. about you, too? Okay, even this, uh, person... Uh, whoever may be, also asked her what when whenever she gets on the bus, uh, where this person wants to know where she's going, casino, Walmart, and she always says, "I don't know where I'm going." You don't know where you're going, just getting there, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, the same thing happened to us in Chicago. One of the uh, Blue Line trains. Someone asked us if we were going. Because they think that they're, we're tourists. And I said, no, we live around here. But really, we were tourists. We just didn't say it. But sometimes you know how this, that's because we know our way around Chicago. So uh, so we didn't act like tourists. We just blended in very well. And boy, I think we did. Because he didn't bother us since. That was a heap in Chicago. And that. So, uh, but this person around here needs to. <laughs> we always want to know, if you want to know what's going on, I, I tell this person, if you want to know what's going on with our lives, watch our channel. I'm trying to get her, this person, well, whoever it is, her, he, she, whatever, uh, try and get this person to subscribe to the channel. So, uh, Or this person needs to learn stuff from riding the bus. Yeah, yeah. If you want to know more information, ride the bus. You ain't going to get it from us, yeah. Just ride, the, ride a different bus, then you know... But you don't need to ride the bus. You just watch our channel. Then you know about us. Oh, uh, I was doing some shopping at Walmart today, and it was a nightmare for me. I wanted to get something in one aisle, but because everybody was so busy reading the labels, and I said I went into the library aisle because everybody was there reading the labels, and I wanted to pick up something in that aisle. I wanted to pick up some candy, but uh, because they were all re busy reading the labels, and... I just didn't have time to excuse me through the aisle where we're supposed to have super wide aisles but they were blow blocking them because they were too busy reading the labels 
uh, I decided, well, must be not that important, so I'll just pass on the candy and got something else. I ended up getting four mini apple pies instead. That's what Angie saw. Surprise? Yep. Yeah. And, uh, because if I, if I was, if I was not too much of a hurry, which I was, uh, uh, it was basically, uh, I didn't really need it at all. So, since I didn't really need it, I didn't want to bug them of their reading time. Because I picked, for some reason, I it turned out to be the library hour there in that aisle. Oh so God. I decided uh, it's not that important. So I'll just skip it. I know it how that and, could be. Yeah. The library aisle. Yeah. You don't go to pick up items in the aisle. You go in there to disturb the library aisle. <laughs> that could be anywhere in the store. Have you experienced that in your local stores or any other store? It's called the library aisle where everybody stops and reads the labels. Tell us down in the comments down below if you experience it. Of course, uh, I'm probably going to ask this question. Chuck, did you take the bus uh, that went past the uh, area that had the building collapse? And I said, I'm just going to say, yes, I did. But that was this morning. Building collapse just uh, a couple hours after I left for work. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when the building collapsed down there on uh, South 4th Street near one of our favorite grocery stores we go shopping at, too. Yep. And... Uh, <clears throat> this was about a block north of the building that collapsed that caused us to lose our little wonderful store that got our grocery cart. Oh, don't worry, that store is back open downtown. Uh, the man, people wanted to, wanted him back open, so he decided to be open, uh, which is good. But the place that used to be known for us locally was called Don's Night Spot. If anybody might remember that, put it. As, as local here, put it down in the comments. You remember places? Me. Don's Night Spot? Me. Yes. It should be the first bar you guys went to when we turned 21. That was what you call your true training bar for rough, for roughnecks. My, first, my bar when I turned 21 was Waltz. Was Waltz? Okay. My first bar when I turned 21 was Cousin's Tap in Lomore. And that. So, uh, there, I beat you by one. I beat you. I got a small town bar instead, which is not open no more. No. Hey, there's mine. Uh, just sitting here the rest of the evening enjoying a mixed drink, 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. It's a 7-Up and Sigrid 7s because I'm out of beer. Uh, I'm out of beer. So I do have those liquor bottles that we have. Uh, just look up the video. You must be 21 to watch this the video. Sorry, guys. I'm yawning. <laughs> yep. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. So we'll say cheers. Man, that's good. That's when you mix it yourself. Because you don't get too much of one. You get too much of one, not enough of the other. You just take a pick. And that's it. But yeah, it was an interesting day. <clears throat> Luckily for us, when we took the bus past that area that the building collapsed, they almost say, good thing it did not happen why the bus went by. But unfortunately, I, I think there were some reports of car damages. There was. Um, when the building collapsed, uh, damage from cars. So, uh, and these buildings have been condemned for years, uh, so there will be some debates, possibly lawsuits that's going to come down in line, but if it does not involve us, we can't be in part of it uh, and that. But it's a way, but I have not walked past that area uh, in over a year and a half. I think last time I walked past there was, I don't think I never did it on a live stream. I don't think I ever did. If I don't. You know, it was across the street, then over that. That's why I didn't do it because I didn't trust those buildings at all. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of abandoned buildings in that area, and I think the city needs to address it real quick uh, before anything else can happen. And that, so, uh, all right, uh, that's between the city and the property owners, uh, technically. On that, all right, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Call it near early evening, uh, just let you know what our day is like. Just another. Whoopie doo day today. Okay, uh, I think, like I said, <clears throat> we're just going to go ahead and wrap up this video and just call it an early evening. Uh, it's just one of those days. I wish I would have had the camera out earlier, but uh, for some reason yeah. I held off, and good thing I did because sometimes you don't catch everything. I guess it's easier to just talk about it. If I had the links to the building collapse, I would put them up, but sometimes those links don't really work for some reason. 
YouTube's been really suppressing some links lately, uh, basically. So, <coughs> all you have to do is just look into our local newspapers, uh, and local TV, they have talk about it and that, so, uh, check out every Davenport, uh, like KWQC, uh, WQAD, WHBF, uh, uh, yeah, KLJB, our local paper, the Clinton Herald. Uh, and all that stuff. They may have more information on that building collapse. So if you guys want to take a look at it and just get the date and take a look at the pictures, mm -hmm. uh, you'd be amazed in that. And you also look at the distance that other buildings are abandoned too. And like I said, same thing can happen to them. But it's been a crazy day to us. I always get bugged by this one person. Are you going to the casino when you got on the bus? Uh, his amazing thing is. She asked, uh, that person asked, I almost said she, but it's she, it could be she, he, or whatever. This person. This person. Uh, decided to ask that bus when I was on my bus on the way home. She, uh, uh that person asked. Why am I saying she? Because it's always, it could be a he. Could be a whatever. Today's, today's, uh, gender could be whatever <laughs> nowadays. But, uh, yeah, uh, this person just... Just want us to know what our lives are like, and I want that person. You want to know what our lives are like? Watch our channel. It's called the Angie and Chuck Show. You know more about our lives on our channel for us telling you, because we show you on this channel what we do on this channel is what we do in real life, and that. So what I do on this channel, drinking mixed drinks. Hey, I may be doing it in real life at a local bar. Who knows? Oh yeah, uh, if I doing Sorry, rum, guys. oh by the way, if I'm doing rum buckets this uh, this day in Sibula now, uh, we're doing the Labor Day weekend. I'll have more money. Uh, I've set aside a rum bucket budget, and I don't think I'm drinking three three. I'll probably end up drinking two you instead. You guys, and I can't wait to do a cooking video. Yeah, and she's itching for a cooking video. Right now, let's itch and let's get on out of here. All right, please like. Share, subscribe, do not forget to hit that subscribe button notification bell. We'll see you later. Bye.